Hey Wargamers, welcome back to the channel Death From Above Wargaming. I'm Aaron. I'm Dan. And we are back at the review table. Yes. Uh, we are back from Adepticon. It's been a couple of weeks, I guess. Um, Has it was it been? a good time. Yeah. yeah, I guess it will be when they see this. Right, when they see this. <laughs> We're filming from yeah. the past. Yeah. Everyone gets a everyone's mind is blown by that, by the way. That everybody thinks we like film like day of. Oh, wow. No. Yeah. No, it takes yeah. production takes a while. This is we're actually filming this in 2021. <laughs> um, so by the time you see this, we will have gone to and been back from Adapticon. Yeah, yeah, several times. Uh, and we used our time traveling machine to bring back Nailed it. Bring bring back some things that we picked up at Adepticon or acquired at Adepticon. There are two things, Dan. One, there's a new premium Rifleman miniature. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I love the Rifleman. Who can get enough of the Rifleman? Nobody. Nobody. Nobody can get enough of, of the Rifleman, which is poorly armored and undergunned. Uh, but it's, <laughs> it's, a, it's an iconic one. So we're going to look at that. Uh, I've got one assembled and one still in the bag. And then also, um, there's a new Alpha Strike, you know, like counters and tokens kit yeah. uh, that we are going to show you here. It's very cool. It is very cool. Yeah, it is very cool. Uh, so we're going to go through all that stuff, and uh, and then, you know, you can leave your nasty comments. We love reading nasty comments. <laughs> you can tell me about how, <laughs> how I didn't zoom in close enough on the miniature. Oh. Uh, <laughs> all right. So, guys, prepare your nasty comments. Reviews coming right up. All right, and we are back. Yes. Uh, premium Rifleman, Other Rifleman, Counter Pack, and I would like to... Is that your proof that we actually were there? Is well, no, this is from the future. <laughs> okay, that's what I mean. Okay. Uh, so, <laughs> Arthur, you're a gentleman and a scholar. It was great to meet several of the folks from the, uh, yes. the Catalyst demo yes. team. Yeah. Um, a few guys, Casey as well. So, Arthur gave this to me, and I will cherish it forever. He told me if I measure short range with it, uh, on camera, he would be thrilled. The only problem is we play one to one scale, and this is two to one scale. Yeah, we but I'll do my best. All what I want to do is cut it in half. Okay, I'm just kidding. I won't do that. I'm just gonna put it on my shelf and forever, forever. No, to in like a uh, shadow box. But yeah, it's pretty cool. Like uh, you know, it's one of those short range, you know, physical range, melee range. So you, know, you do some cool stuff with it. Yeah, very neat. All right, so let's talk about what do you want? What do you want to start with? Uh, let's go with the... Uh, Start with the Rifleman. Yeah, let's do the Rifleman. Dan, what was the first thing you noticed about the Rifleman? <sighs> it's short. It's smaller in, di in dynamics. Or, uh, yeah, in scale. In scale than, than right. the other. Um, unfortunately, like, you can literally you put it in the mix here. You can see it, it stands It's shorter. significantly it's, smaller. Like yeah. Also, the legs yes, are yeah, not yeah. as big. Yeah. Uh, it's not as thick. It's not as thick. Look, the guns mm -hmm. are not as long. Yep. It's like yeah. it's almost... They scaled it down. They scaled it down. Now, I don't know if this is like the Primaris Rifleman <laughs> and this is the regular Rifleman. Yeah, yeah. Uh, or maybe this is the correct scale and they rescaled it. Or if the mold shrunk... I don't know. Don't... I don't... But that's my only negative feedback. Yeah, otherwise I like it. It's All right. really, it, it is... Has, um, from my understanding, it has multiple legs choices as Correct. well, right? It does. It does have two legs. Um, and I was actually, the one thing I really loved about this was that it was super easy to put together. Like some of them have like, like a couple that are having a, no, it's like a shoot off. Take three steps and shoot, brother. Oh, you should do a cowboy hat on uh, so speaking of, of the various rifles, yes, so yeah, what I have yeah. here, so this is the premium one, yeah. okay, which is cool because I was able to pose it, like I like how the, I was able to do the one arm kind of out, like he was doing like a, like a cowboy shoot off. Yeah. Um, this is the one from the, I believe the... Alpha. That's the re restand, right? Like it's, yeah, it's which, where did this come out? Is this the Alpha Strike box or was um, it... No. Oh, this was the Wolf Dragoons yeah, Assault yeah, Star. Yeah. Uh, Wolf Dragoons Assault Star. So I made sure that the same, the same, they were doing a different pose. Uh, and then this is the original yes. game, you know, what'd that come in? The, uh, not the Game Warm Combat. No, that came in one of them. Yeah, one of them. One of them. One of the first two. Yes. Yeah. Right? I mean, it's iconic, so it's got to come out. It comes in all of them. Yeah. And then this was one where I reposed the original one. Well, yeah. Because I do that. And it looks um, good. Looks good. Looks good. Tell me it looks good, guys. Say, leave in the comments that you hate everything about it. <laughs> all right, so... Standard packaging, right? This is, uh, you know, Monster Fight Club. All right, yes, that did yeah. this one. 
Uh, this premium miniature includes multiple optional parts. And by multiple, they mean extra lives. Yeah. Allowing you to determine the exact pose that you want for this stunning model. Now, if it I am it, being... It would have kind of been cool if it did give you, like, four AC twos, you know, instead of just... Oh, you, yeah, like and, different... And, and, yeah, like, or different just arms. all... Yeah, it would have been cool, but... I, you took, I the, you took the words out of my mouth. Sorry. I Sorry. would No, it's, it's fine. I, we're on the same page. Like, I would have rather have had... Less legs and more arms. Yeah. So that I could make an entirely new variant. Yeah. Yeah. Um, like there is one with, you know, PPCs and lasers. So say, it, yeah. it would be, you know, the 4D. And there's a whole bunch of like the crazy ones, like the, I don't know, 6X maybe. It's a late era one with rotary auto cannons and all sorts of stuff. And who doesn't like rotary auto cannons? Who doesn't like rotary auto cannons, Dan? Uh, so the one thing I will say that I really appreciate about this is that it's minimal pieces. I mean, to make the mini, it's five pieces. One, two, three, four, five, yeah. oh, six. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Well, five pieces in the main body. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I got what you're saying. You're thinking legs. And yeah. Right. Short. I'm not counting this. Yeah. Pelvis um, is, uh, whatever. Right. So the, the, yeah, the pelvis is just a single piece. It was fairly easy to glue it together. Um, I did a little bit of a, like a more dynamic, like coming around, like he's like coming around a corner type now, of thing. Now these are resin. So you would end up using super glue instead of like, um, plastic glue. Like I think the Tamian like cement glue isn't going to work that well. I don't. Yeah. So, so I you would end up use, using like, um, Gorilla Glue. Or I use like Gorilla. Loctite. Yeah. I, use, I, I, never tried, I never tried Loctite. I use the Gorilla Glue and I use the Bob Smith Industries Cyanoacrylate. Do Loctite gap with, the, filling. with the squeeze handle, like you don't get as much from as the Gorilla Glue, but it lasts longer. Like I end up my Gorilla Glue dries out all the time. Yeah, so I end up, I'm gonna try the Loctite now. I, I burn through it pretty quick, but for pound for pound, you're getting more quality from Loctite. Personally, That's riddle me mean. this: Why haven't you told me this sooner? I uh, you know how many bottle like half <laughs> dried bottles of Gorilla Glue I've thrown out. I've actually just started to turn over to to yeah. Loctite. That's why. All right, all right. Well, uh, so this one, interestingly enough. Has quite the defect in the back. Yeah, yeah. It All does. right. So this one actually had zero defects. Okay. Uh, and I was actually super impressed with the quality. Perfect. Of the miniature. Uh, however, this one, uh, as you can see, there's mm. there's uh, like some flashing here, and that's pretty heavy duty. I don't even know. I don't think I can get that out. Like that's, that's it's like pretty yeah, fierce. Yeah. So I may have to. May have no, to email email of... Monster Fight Club on that one. So uh, you know, still you know, just it's hit or miss. Yeah, it's hit or miss. You know, and I would expect. I mean, what was this? Uh, fifteen bucks, I think. Dan, was this fifteen bucks? I want to say yes. Oh, I don't know. I'm awful with these things. I totally forget. I'm just doing reviews. All right, I don't know what the price was. We are higher at Adepticon and have no. Just idea. I was like, give me all your rifle. <laughs> That's disappointing, though. But you can see the rest of the pieces are actually really well done. They are. Um, there's great detail on the gun barrels, right? Like even the, you know, the the little vents at the end of the the auto cannon barrel. Um, really great stuff. It is really interesting, though. Like if you hold these up, like that is significantly smaller. Yes. Like I would say, like what fifteen percent or least more? Fifteen to twenty percent. Fifteen. Say, yeah. 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 I mean, it's like significantly smaller. So I would be interested to know if that was intentional or not. I would be interested to know as well. Catalyst, right. let us know. Yeah, or Monster Fight Club or, or you know, Anthony, if you're out there. Uh, we met we met Scroggins at the... Yeah, uh, he's yeah. the man, yes. by the way. Yeah. Anthony, if you're listening, we love time. you. Uh, the guy just started, like, you know, I mean, just started painting recently his own miniatures, like within like the last year or so, and he had a whole bunch of stuff there. Remember, we yeah. saw all of yeah. the vehicles? Phenomenal. Yeah. Phenomenal. Phenomenal stuff. Um, I th actually think I flashed up a photo of them in uh, in the last jump point. Okay. Um, but maybe I'll flash it up in this one too if I remember while I'm editing. Okay. I'll go dig it out of my my I'll collection of, of photos. I'll send you a reminder. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Dan. <laughs> uh, so anyway, so you know, uh, overall, this rifleman, you know, pros. I think there's great detail. I love the posability. Um, that's, that's always just, that's a nice treat, you know, cause yes, you can kind of yeah, make it, make yeah. it the way you want. Although, you know, the only reason I brought this one out is not to brag, but you know, you can do it with the plastics too. Yes, yeah. It does require a little bit more, a little bit of model knife action and some glue, but the sizing thing is funny. Like I didn't even notice until you just pointed it out until we had them all side yeah, by side. Yeah. The one thing I constantly 
say that I love about the new line of miniatures is in fact the scaling. And this one is the first I have seen that does not match. But it's not even made in the same material as the new line. The new line is made of something that's resin for sure. Right, these are all sure. like plastic. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly. All right, well, let's get into the Alpha Strike counters pack. Okay. All right, so. All right. Uh, this this was sent here. So this has a price tag on it of twenty four ninety nine. All right. Oh, so loud. Mm, listen to that crackling and popping. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Oh. Alpha Strike Counters Pack for use with BattleTech Alpha Strike Commanders Edition. Uh, so let's talk about what's included in here. Three heavy stock reference cards most commonly used in the game. Ooh. Six punch boards, including additional movement markers and trees from the Alpha Strike. Those are all new trains, rivers, so, roads, so that's this. large game templates, and more. That's, and they're double sided. Too. A second complete set of the 15 fold up card stock buildings. Now, Ooh. I'll tell you, one of my favorite things was these card stock buildings. If I was like 15 and could not afford like hardware studios, and or if you're 45 and you just don't have the space for all that crap, these are the money. I was gonna say like every 15 year old really like, pretty much doesn't can't afford anything. I mean they're trust fund babies. <laughs> there are, but they're not. The I average. wasn't one of them. I am not either. All right. Yeah. Okay. So you get a second set of 15 buildings. Six punch boards and three reference cards. You can you can open up those, and while you're doing that, I want to look at the most commonly used uh, reference cards. All right. Okay. So, movement cost table, right? Yeah. Very nice. Yes. Uh, unit key types. I would never use this card. If you don't have this memorized, you shouldn't play Battletech. No, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> this one's fantastic. super useful. This is this is a page. You reference all the time. Oh, yeah, yeah. Our quick reference has a bunch of this stuff, sort of the most common ones out of here. Um, for example, what do I do when I have sh the strong submersible movement special ability is not on our quick reference because we don't use mechs that have, uh, you know, the underwater movement units. But we will soon. I was going to say, we should do like it. a whole under Submarines. underwater powder. Earth we could like suspend them from cables and like move in like a 3D like <laughs> environment. Oh, that would be. Change all the lights to right? blue. Do they have? We oh. could have like snorkels and. Can we get cameras and put them inside the water? They're, so go, they're GoPros, bud. Let's go film in a pool. <laughs> That's what Let's right? do it. Summer's around the corner. Should we do it? Should we do a naval battle in a pool underwater? Let us know in the comments. Uh, that reminds uh, me of Peter Herman with the kid that had all the battleships in the big. Oh my it's god, cool. yes. <laughs> That's what it's so cool. Uh, the one thing I love is this. Uh, so this is um, the arcs, yeah. right? And yeah. they clarified yeah. this, right? What's the rear arc? What's the front arc, right? So yeah. very nice. Like You just kind of draw that that same you know, parallel line with the, with the outside of the base or if you're behind the back, right? The critical hit chart, which is super useful across mechs, proto mechs, vehicles, airspace, and dropships. Um mode of damage like all of these things um if you're if you're using buildings it has the how much damage they can take the damage absorption for infantry and so on and so so forth so lots of stuff in there artillery and then all of the special abilities oh my god and what page they live on this is the best thing i've ever seen in my life look at that oh it's because it's got all the and it's got all the, the special pilot abilities so like if you're like well what's you know sds-c well, now you know. Yeah. And you know it's on page 90. Yeah. I don't even know what that is. What is that? SDS Capital. Interesting. If you have a remote drone dispenser, do you have a remote drone dispenser on your Mac? What do the drones do? We need to. We need to incorporate drones. Yeah, we need to. We need to incorporate drones. Yeah. So, definitely some useful stuff in those quick reference sheets. And I got to say, like, twenty four ninety nine is really not a bad no, deal no, for, not for all this stuff. No, not for all this. Especially um, with, because you got basically an entire battlefield. Right. Plus. And guys, if you have not seen the um, the unboxing of the Alpha Strike, the new Alpha Strike box set uh, that we did, definitely check that out because we show all the stuff that comes with that. But here are more of the trees. So basically these pop out um, and they form. So let's let's build let's build a pine tree. Should we build a pine tree then? Let's, let's build a pine tree. Okay. Watch this, guys. So each each uh, set of two forms a tree. All right. And basically the way it works, they pop out just like that. All right, you can take them and slot one on top of the other. 
like so. All right, shazam, and there it is. You got yourself a nice pine tree. Very cool, right? So there it is, a uh, nice little three-dimensional pine tree for your pleasure. So they have all different kinds of trees, you know, pine, some spruce, some maple, you know. I don't know. I'm not a tree guy. <laughs> uh, so I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's ten trees, ten trees that I see. Uh, so these these were in, I believe, the core set, um, these objective tokens, uh, and also mixed in are... Did I stand still? Did I jump? Did I, am I a mobile? You know, and you can put their, basically their TMM down. So if my rifleman did a sprint, you know, or whatever, and I want to give them plus two or whatever, you know, you can put the token down so you know how they acted and what they did. I think these are really cool um, to use. These are, these are pretty, these are pretty useful. Uh, and what else do we have here? We have, oh, the, the directional. Uh, are you still building a building? I You're, am. It how's is, it going? It is. Um, it's going? It's going. Tom, Tom built it in about, I'm sorry to, to say, Tom built his in like 12 seconds when we did the, the original box. Here's the problem, right? I, I, I get how it's supposed to go, but this. <laughs> you go ahead. You tell me. You tell me, buddy. I'm, I'm going to get it in, guys. Okay. Watch, okay? All right. Dan no, just, I don't want to. I don't want to be ruin it. That's my problem. A little creative. How did you get that thing? Still popping up there, right there. It is not popping up, Dan. It's your imagination. You guys, you guys tell me. It's, All right, it's, it's not popping. popping. It's, it's popping. supposed to be a, an, arch, an arched roof. I don't um, want to ruin your your sweet. So anyway, so some bomb, you know, the bomb directional yeah. thing for when you get scatter on artillery. Look at this strafing template. That's cool. I like that. And if you don't, if you're not using strafing, oh look, it's a runway, right? Look, you put the runway down, and then put a tree next to the runway, next to the next to the control tower. Look at that. Uh, the other cool thing we've got here is this this template, which is similar, which is similar to this one. Okay. Uh, basically, it's six inches on the short side, melee and physical. Um, and then if you want to do woods templates instead of individual trees and just lay a woods template down, um, these guys would punch out. Uh, for that. This is the big bomb. Uh, so this is like cluster bombs and stuff. Uh, very cool on the back. There's there's like a little airfield. What's on the back of this one? I didn't even look. Uh, it's just, just, yeah, it's more bomb template. But the big one, it's kind of neat. Um, the six inch AOE template. Uh, on the back, they have like, look, a little, like a little airfield or whatever like that. that is. Yeah. yeah, it's neat. So there's some rubble. There's... Um, C3 tokens in this one. Um, stealth, NART, another one of these range measuring template thingies, uh, I think. Yeah, yeah there's two of them. Uh, what's different about them? Mm, nothing. There's one for each player. That's pretty cool. I can get behind that. Um, and on these, these little measuring sticks, so it also tells you the mods, medium range, long range, so on and so forth. So that's kind of useful. All right, now we're into, <laughs> I like this one, enraged. Here, I'm gonna give this to you. Right. <laughs> oh. And I'm gonna take this one. This one's intimidated. <laughs> I'm intimidated. Uh, so different altitude, low, medium, high, uh, stealth, another stealth, more C3s. You've got some rivers. Um, some more forest. Oh, look on this side. We've got, I don't know what that is. Oil spill. <laughs> Environmental desert. Pal East Palestine. Um, it's too soon. Too soon, man. Uh, so, oh, look at that building. That's cool. I like that. That's really neat. This is a, this rifleman's up here. He's got jump jets. He doesn't. Uh, he climbed up. He does sit He in. climbed up with no hands. Let me lay out these, uh, these things so people can, can look down and judge. Um... They can judge for themselves. All right. And then the other thing, the last thing we got here is some roads, uh, which I think is always a great thing to have. The only thing I'd say is I wish there were more of them. The roads? Yeah, because, you know, how? what am I going to get out of this? You know, what, how, how long then this is probably normal eight and a half by 11 or maybe maybe even a little less, might be 10 inches. So you're not going to get too much yeah. road. Or at least if they did, it like made them broken off. Right. I mean, so it looked like there was rubble immediately after Yeah, the yeah, yeah. Right. Like there's like a that. section of the road. Yeah. yeah. Or just buy more kits. Or just buy more kits. Yeah. Just yeah. Buy, you know? Yeah, absolutely. That's how but you make money. If I'm being critical, 
I don't think I need one of these because I already have. I mean, granted, it's cool. They, they had A, B, and C in the main kit. They have D, E, and F here, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, so that's kind of neat, like, if you want to do more objectives. But I'm not I'm not sure I necessarily, like, needed these. I would have rather had, like, stuff like this, right? Yeah, it, yeah. Again, it's unique. If you're trying to play efficiently and you don't have all the room for 3D terrain and this and that, right, and you want to play quick and dirty... You can pack all of this crap in like a binder, including the buildings, slap it in a backpack, go to your buddy's house, yeah. you know, roll some dice, right? The only thing you really need a case for is your mechs. Yeah, yeah. So, um, I, I mean, I love, check this out, dude. Tiny. How cool is that, though? It is cool. I mean, the quality of it is phenomenal. I mean, this is this is really great stuff. Yeah. It's, it's really, great really stuff. not that hard to put together. No, you're just churn, just, you're just churning them out right yeah, now. Yeah, I'm just, just I was not right with that first one. I don't know what was going on here. I I mean I have to say you know, rifleman, is a little let down by it. Yeah, yeah. This I think is awesome. Yes, this is definitely worth the 20, 24, 25, 25. Yeah, twenty four ninety nine, twenty five bucks. Can't beat it. No, you, you can beat it with a stick if you want to. But you can I, beat it with a stick. It. Although it won't do anything except for maybe knock all the the tokens <laughs> out of the cardboard for you. It would make uh, it quicker. May, it might make it quicker. Oh what man, I like. I love that these buildings are all different sizes. They're just this is super slick. So many, so many options. Th I, that's a winner for yeah, me. Yeah, don't put them all together, Dan. Jesus, what am I gonna do with them? Well, I was gonna do this one because it's like, all right, y'all can see, right? Look, I can't stop putting it together. It's <laughs> yeah, like, it's, it is sort of it's, it's, it's sort of therapeutic. That's why I just kept on going. It's sort of therapeutic. I'm not gonna lie. Oh. I really like this. Look how cool this is. Look, it's got little skylights in the top. They really knocked these out of the park. I'm sorry. This is phenomenal. I mean, it's just boxes, but yeah, no, I agree with you. Absolutely beautiful. These are the star of the show, yes. in my opinion. Yeah. yeah. Um, so you know, they're, they're tall enough. You can see, you know, the mechs can take cover from them, but the low-lying ones are like level one. I think it's all very, very well done, um, in my opinion. I just want to play. Uh, Why are they all attacking me? This guy's defending me. This guy too. It's a free for all. It's just like a Solaris arena. <laughs> Battle of the riflemen. It's a famous uh, it's a famous thing they do every year. We should have only it. the smallest riflemen will survive. Ha <laughs> ha get Rick and Tom, all four of us. Just, just all Rick. riflemen. Just <laughs> not <laughs> nonstop. I want the one with rotary auto cannons. Oh uh. um so anyway, so that's that guys. Um we're doing a giveaway. Oh we mentioned this uh at Adepticon. We yes. mentioned it on Jump Point, we're gonna mention it again. For patrons, uh, there's going to be a challenge. Yes. Okay? There's a challenge to win a Kickstarter prize. I can't even participate in this. Can't participate. Yeah. Dan is for, forbidden. <laughs> forbidden. 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 From participating. Yeah. So I can't uh, win. Can't do it. Tom can't win. No. Nobody on the DFA team can win. Yeah. Uh, but patrons can compete in a challenge to win a regiment tier. That's award. huge. So everything. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the only downside is I think I gotta pick all the stuff for you, so deal with it. Yeah. Uh, so I'm probably gonna pick all the. All you get the what best. you get. You get what you get. What you get. Yeah. Um, but we might be able to. We might I mean, we, work we, it out. we work pretty good. Like I think we'll. Yeah. Yeah. You're also getting it for free. Yeah. So. Yeah. You know, there's so. that. <laughs> there's that. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's a little bit of your time, you know, for a contest. But outside of that. Yeah. Yeah. So what is the contest, Dan? You want me to, do you want me to tell you what the contest is? You go for it. All right. So here's the contest. I totally forgotten. It's going to be something along these lines. you got to get get on Patreon for, for all the details. But basically, uh, there is going to be a contract, mercenary contract, up for bid. You, the patron, need to submit your mercenary unit with the lance that will be performing the duties of said contract. And then a sales pitch, basically, is why I should pick your oh, yeah, mercenary yeah, yeah, unit. Yeah. No, right? really, no. Why is yours the best? I'll come back to me. And maybe it's like a past mission that you did that was similar. Maybe it's your reputation. Maybe it's something else, like the cool paint jobs on your Mac. I don't know. Uh, whatever you want. Sell me on it. And whoever does the best job, we're going to review them as a team. Yep. Uh, and we're going to bubble up the best, and we're going to vote on it, and yep. then we're going to pick a winner. Yep. Uh, so that's going to be pretty exciting. Yeah. Yeah. That's all I got. That's it. You got anything else? Anything, any closing thoughts on Rifleman and Alpha Strike? I'm, a little, pack? I'm a disappointed that it's a little small. But other than that, no. I think they did a really good job on, on that one in particular. I think they did a good job. Yeah. Outside I mean, of everything else. It's yeah. not a little bit. It's like significant. Yeah, it's, it's noticeable. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. So, 
Anyway, I don't know if this was like a Adepticon exclusive. I don't know if it's going to be out out for sale. Um, I'm usually a you know a fanatic of of these products. Yeah. I mean the the uh, the Eris was really cool. The Hammerhead was really cool. Um, the Storm Crow, obviously the first one had some some issues, um, and there were a couple of them. Tim Timberwolf TC was great. This one I, I, I gotta I gotta give it like a thumbs like one bomb. Yeah. Like one out of ten bombs. Yeah. Uh, details phenomenal, uh, posability is yeah. great, but I mean the 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 scale is a big deal for me. Yeah, it's a big deal for me. It, so. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, yeah. Alpha Strike <clears throat> counters pack, I give it ten out of ten. Yes, ten absolutely. out of ten bombs. Absolutely. Uh, there's nothing in there that I found disappointing. Yeah, really like this pack and love these buildings. They knocked. Them, I mean, they really did knock them out of the park. I know a lot of guys use like the drop zone commander stuff. Which is, I think, out of print or extremely hard to get, or both. Yeah. Um, but these are neither of those things and are super well priced. They should they should consider releasing like a buildings pack, like right. maybe with like can they do like a sil a cylindrical one, oh, like you know cool. some some neat things, or cool. they could do like one that's like four of these and then like a thing that goes on top. Like you can do all sorts of neat things with them. Like look, mm -hmm. you can do stuff like that, yes. right? Yeah. Um. So you can make it. You can you can you can do neat things. Anyway. I'm gushing. You're gushing. So, Rifleman, sorry, buddy. I love you, but you're too small. Um, you're not going to make the team. <laughs> Alpha Strike, <laughs> I like it. Yes. I yes, like the counters yeah, pack. Yeah. Really thrilled. Yeah. So, that said, guys, we're all wrapped up. I hope you enjoyed this review. Leave your comments. Uh, don't forget to leave a like. Uh, we get so many views, like thousands and thousands of views, and we get like, you know, like 200 people can click the thumbs up button. Yeah, I mean. Click the thumbs up button. Click the subscribe we button. We don't know. Don't yell at him. Sorry. <laughs> Could you please click the like button and please click the subscribe button? Uh, and the bell notification for notifications whenever for notifications. we do something. Yeah, that's okay. true. Usually, because you, you don't click the bell, even though you are subscribed, you're not going to know because it's not going to tell you. That's right. Because YouTube needs to be handheld for everything. 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 That's why we need the thumbs up because yeah. it doesn't know that you liked it, yeah. even though you watched it all the way through. Yeah. It doesn't know. It doesn't. It's not very smart. Like this tiny rifleman. Has a smaller brain than the other, <laughs> the other bigger rifleman. Oh, that is <laughs> poor guy. It's so tiny. He's so tiny. He's so cute. He could like sit on my shoulder <laughs> like a. Wee. Oh. Anyway, all right. Well, <laughs> couple things. Number one, Aries Games and Minis. Uh, check it out. Uh, Derek's got all the good stuff. I don't know when this counters pack is going to be available, but okay. when it is available, no doubt he will have that. Um, I know he's got all, all the great stuff, though, the the box sets and, and so on and so forth. So definitely check that out. All right. Anyway, we're done. Uh, Guys, thank you so much for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed this. And, of course, stay tuned. Always great stuff coming from Death from Above Wargaming. Have a good night.